What's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel today. I'm back with a new story. The name of the story is What if Naruto was never loyal to Konoha? And yeah guys, it is my own idea. Now before continuing this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And yes, I will be making your ideas from tomorrow onwards, promise, and it will be a movie. So send in your ideas and yes, I'm out of my ideas. I promise that tomorrow will be your idea. Anyways, you already know the drill. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Roll the, the story intro. Begins. Four years after the QB attack in Konoha Gakure Nisato. As we see a four-year-old Naruto Uzumaki seated in a play area all by himself on a swing. His eyes, they were cold as they were looking towards the people around him. As the parents came and collected their kids, giving him a disgusting look, he didn't give them any thought. His mind was racing on his own. You see, what happened was, a few days ago, he went to greet his Gigi. As now, we go to a flashback, where we see a young Naruto running towards the Hokage office with a bright smile on his face. As soon as he was about to burst into the door of his Gigi, he heard a voice. He needs to be controlled, Hiruzen. Now is the perfect time, and you don't think I know that. I am trying my best to make sure that the kid listen to me, and only me. You don't need to worry about anything, Don, so everything is going according to plan. Yes, I know. But what about Kushina? She's still out there, thinking that her son is dead. What are we gonna do about that? I'm gonna make sure that she doesn't realize it is her son. How so? You don't need to worry about that, Don, so. His birthday is coming near. And let's just say an unfortunate accident might happen which will disfigure Naruto permanently and give us the opportunity that we need. As Naruto with horrified and shocked filled and realization dawned eyes dashed away in fear and in anger. As now we see him seated there as he was on his own, burning with rage and betrayal as a voice from within spoke to him. Kid, listen to me. What do you want, Fox? Said Naruto. Because of the people, he already figured it out why the people called him a demon. And it was because the Nine Tail attack happened on the day he was born. He also was not dumb enough to not notice that he had three whisker marks, which made people think that he was the reincarnated demon as he heard some old people tell their grandchildren. So one night, as he was resting, we see that in a flashback that Naruto, in his sleep, with fully focus, awoke inside his own mindscape, surprising even the Biju, as he then said, I knew it, so I really am a demon, as the Biju instead chuckled, <laughs> you a demon, no kid, if anything, you're not even close to that, as Naruto was left shocked, th then what am I, you boy are my jailer, my prison, and I am imprisoned, Within you, making you my Jinchuriki. So they hate me because of that? They hate you because their small, insignificant mind cannot comprehend these things. As Naruto was shocked, as he couldn't understand it. Why didn't my GG tell me? Your GG is lying. No, you, you're wrong. He wouldn't. As end of the flashback, as Naruto chuckled. <laughs> Why didn't I even say that to you? What do you want now? Tell me. As I was saying, your mother is still alive, remember? Did you not hear Hiruzen's words? Even if she is, why would she want me back? I'm nothing more than a demon. Then if you are a demon, why not we join forces, since I am one as well? What do you mean? Go to your room. This will hurt a lot, but if you withstand it, you and I are going to merge, become one. I will be still remaining in you as a subconsciousness. R wait, what? Yes. W what, what do you mean by that? Listen to me, kid. I will be making you a demon as they want you to be. You will become the new Nine Tails. I being your mentor, your other half, your other psyche will remain within you. What do you say? I... Fine, said Naruto. As Naruto got up and went home and laid down, this will hurt a lot, kid. As Naruto arrived in his mindscape to see that QB was already free from the prison. Wait, what? How did you? 
The seal that was placed here was child's play. I could have broken through it any time I wanted. But I remained because I wanted you to find out. Yourself. Just how much of these idiots people were. You, you knew? Of course I did. I could hear and see through your eyes, even when you were an infant. Obviously I knew. Then why did you not tell me? <laughs> and like you would have believed me like the time when I told you that you're Gigi. He's lying to you. As Naruto looked down, I'm, I'm sorry. It's alright, kid. But I don't understand one thing. What? Why helping me? I need an ear. You need an ear? Why? You see, we Bijus, we are in danger. And a war is on horizon, kid. I have seen it in a vision. And to prevent that, one needs to make a sacrifice. And I'm ready to make that one, making you my heir. As Naruto was even more shocked. So you're going to sacrifice because of these people? Yes, unfortunately I have to because the world needs to live on. And plus, I'm not doing this for them. It's for my own siblings, the other Bijus. I, I see. Now hold tight. This will hurt a lot. As Naruto gritted his teeth, trying to hold in his screams, which escaped muffledly as the process began. As Naruto was not seen for the three days, as two days before his birthday, Naruto regained consciousness. His eyes, his hair, everything was back to normal. But in his reflection, he could see that he had nine golden tails behind him and fox ears. What the hell? You really have become a fox kid, as I said. But your appearance will remain as such because they cannot see it without any dojutsu. Then the dojutsu users, oh they can. But I will teach you how to control these powers, I promise. But as of right now, there is much more bigger thing that we need to worry about. Or have you forgotten? My birthday, the attack. Yes. First of all, you need to transform into other humans and mingle in. You are very thin. And to withstand, you need to eat properly. And Naruto with his cunningness and Kyuubi's mind combined was able to transform because of his fox-like nature now into other humans, completely able to mimic them and even act like them. As he went into different clan compounds as their children and ate a lot and gained his weight and also entered the libraries as the clan had some time to steal jutsus. Thanks to Kyuubi's eyes, Naruto and Kyuubi were able to memorize jutsu with a single glance and Naruto's training in secret began within the two days span. As not only that, on his birthday, Naruto made a shadow clone, which was almost as real as if you beat it, it won't disappear, as the people beat it and even mangled his face before it bursted into flames with a smirk, catching everyone with flames, and Naruto was dead, or at least Konoha thought. As now we see, Naruto covered in the form of a civilian entered a huge mob as they were surrounded by their hokage in the center hall my people i am fortunate and unfortunate to tell you that the demon is dead the boy is gone but the threat still lingers now the cube will reform within nine years and it might come back as everyone begin to whisper as Naruto smirked nice play Ruzin. what else do you have in mind but the people I told you specifically that you can do whatever you want with him, not kill him. Why would you do this and not listen to me? Now we are defenseless as well. We wanted the boy to listen to us, to be our weapon. But you, you have all lost that chance. Now there is a threat that other villages might try to threaten us and even start a war with us because of our weakened conditions and states. So I urge you to keep this a secret with everyone else. We will, Hokage-sama, you don't need to worry about that. As after that we see, Naruto, after killing a councilman, Koharu more specifically, entered in her, his, in her state in the council chambers, as she remained seated and quiet, listening in the people speak. As Rizna said, God damn it, those fucking civilians, they are idiots. I'm dealing with. Calm down, Hiruzen, said Koharu. Thanks, Koharu, but I can't. As Donaldson said, Hiruzen is right. We had one shot at this, and because of those idiots, we lost it. As he looked towards the civilians, you lot. 
What the fuck is your purpose? If you can't even keep that fucking animals in control. We, we tried, but it was all for naught, said Mibuki. As then Kohar then said, Ruzin, remind me again. Why? Why were we, you know, trying to do this to the kid? Well, luckily enough, Koharu, you were not there when this meeting was held and you s did not knew who he was. He was the Jinchuriki of the QB, you knew that much, right? But in fact, he was the son of the fourth Hokage and Kushina. Well, when Kushina woke up, we told her that her child has died and, well, she left. Ah, I see. That is why I wondered why she left. Hmm. Obviously, we couldn't have revealed the truth to her, otherwise she might have taken her. And... What else then? Well, she has been trying to, you know, find out traces if we are lying and she was getting closer. But thankfully enough, all thanks to her friends and comrades here who were smirking as Naruto noticed. They were able to divert her on a wild goose chase that maybe Naruto might exist out there and somewhere else. Ah, I see. Any news where she might be now? Hmm, why the sudden interest, Koharu? Well, we need to be prepared. There might be some of her spies within the mob. Who knows? Hmm, that is a valid point, God, who said Homura. As Hiruzenda said, we will look into this. You don't have to worry about that. And as for where she might have been, well, last time we heard, she had settled down in the land of waves after her wild goose chase ended. Ah, I see. As after that, we see Naruto, in the form of Koharu, left. And he remained in the village after finding out where the land of waves was. He needed money and he knew where to get it. He began to go into the vaults of different clan compounds and steal a lot of money as well as some information and jutsus and a lot of secrets as well. And he was able to locate the Mangekyo Sharingan of Mother Uchiha in the Uchiha shrine as well which he took as his Subconscious now, QB then said, you have to take those eyes, Naruto. They are, they are precious. They are the only ones who are able to tame me. With these eyes, we will be unstoppable. Are you sure it is his eyes? Oh, they are. Konoha will not see what hit them. As after that, we see, Naruto even took them and placed a lot of explosive seals. And on the day of his departure, he did the hand seal. Flaring the chakras, many hissing sounds were heard and multiple explosions occurred all across Konoha, causing a mayhem and havoc as Naruto took this chance to blend in with a mob of well travelers who were moving out of the village as they all left. As Naruto, after some time, when they were resting in the night, diverted the path and left towards the land of waves. After arriving there, he saw that a people were well going on about their life as Naruto then asked in his original form, excuse me, can I know is there a woman here named Kushina? Why do you want to meet Kushina-sama? I, I request you, I need to speak to her directly. All right, young man. By the way, my name is Tazuna. I am the chief of this village and she has been here with us for the past six months. And let me tell you this, it has been a pleasant sight since she has arrived. I'm sorry, but it, what do you mean by that? It means that we were saved by her from Gato and his tyranny. A lot has changed since she has arrived. We were saved by her. Ah, I see. As in a far away wooden house that was built for her, we see Kushina resting with her katana and her family here looms. As we see Naruto entered, as her eyes widened. Naruto? Is that, is that really you? Hey, hey, Kajan. As after that we see Naruto and his... Fairy of Emotions unveiled his nine tails and fox ears. As Naruto was embarrassed, I, I, I'm sorry. As Kushina still, with a bit of shock, went near him. You, you became his hair, didn't you? As Naruto's eyes widened, you, you knew? He offered the same to me when I was close to dying out. I declined. Dying out? Yes. I was the previous Jinchuriki, Naruto. I only survived by a mere miracle. And my Uzumaki jeans, perhaps. But how? Hiruzen told me that you were dead. Hiruzen was lying to you. He was lying to me as well. 
He knew that you were getting close, so he devised a plan where he will use me as a bait and let people rage upon me as my face will be discovered and you wouldn't find out. As Kushina's blood boiled, he will pay for this. Oh, he has. I have done a lot before I arrived here, Katarn. We will wait, and once I regain my full strength, we will strike. Fine, Nardo. In the meanwhile, I'll train you here. As both Kushina and Naruto remained in Land of Waves, as Kushina began to train Naruto, as years begin to went by as Naruto reached at the age of 13, his full power now unmatched, as he also has extracted his eyes in the form in the form of Mangekyo Sharingan of Madras. Although now black, they still had red slits in them, like before, in his original state with fox tails and ears emerging. As Naruto, now grown up, was ready. Kajan, are you sure this plan will work 100% Naruto? I was a strategist for God's sake. But what would have Tochan said? Your Tochan was an idiot to believe in those people. He was brainwashed by them. I could see it, but I loved him. That is the only reason I stayed, because he was kind and selfless. And a hopeless idiot who believed in those idiots' words. As Naruto chuckled, well, I can see that happening. Enough, Naruto. Now's the time. Let them know the true power of the hero of the Kubino Yoko. As now we see, Naruto and Kushina was marching towards Konoha. And to their surprise, they saw a team coming towards the land of waves as well from Konoha as they begin to hide instantly, covering and masking up their chakra. It was Kakashi Hatake as well as Team 7, Sasuke Uchiha, Sakura Aruno, and Sai. As they were talking, our job is simple. We have to confess to Kushina that we are on her side and bring her into the village, where Hiruzen will manipulate her and tell her that Danzo and the others have hidden her child and made sure that he died. Kushina will rampage somewhat, but later on, we will be able to get control of her, like before. As Kushina and Naruto's blood boil. But why do we need her? Akatsuki. They are enraged that the QB is dead and they want to take out us. And a lot of other villages are also threatening us as well. So, it is the best and wise decision that our Hokage has come up with. And as soldiers and loyalists, we need to listen to him. Always remember that. But wasn't he your sense, you know, sensei? His father? <laughs> sensei he might have been, but he was a hopeless idiot who believed in our words, our innocence. We were agents planted by the Hokage, and we needed a fall guy to be prepared when a perfect chance for a perfect Jinchuriki was made, when he and Kushina made that boy. But unfortunately, that boy is dead, so we need her back, because Kyubi will appear sooner or later and we need a seal master there. And only Kushina knows the 8 pentagram seal that will be used to seal the Biju, as Naruto's blood boiled to no end, and Kushina as well. But as they were arriving, Kushina and Naruto rushed back with the help of Hirish and Kunai, and even went as far as to take and hide everything they had in their house, and with the help of seals made it disappear into a scroll as well, and told everyone that Kushina was never here and left a few months ago. As now we see, as Naruto and Kushina was hiding, the Team 7 arrived. People of Land of Waves, you have a shinobi of ours. We need her to be brought back to Konoha, otherwise she will be marked as a missing nin. So tell us where his, her location is. Um, who? <laughs> nice. Kushina, who else, you idiot? Said Kakashi, punching him. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just that she left. She left a few months ago, said Tazuna. What? Where? We don't know. We never asked. We were grateful. She said that she she needed time to herself to heal. <laughs> heal. All those years and she needs to heal. What a bitch. <laughs> well, you are a waste of bunch. Go on kids, kill them. But before they could do so, Naruto in his QB fight state appeared in front of them. As Sakura was about to kill a little boy named Inari, her both hands were cut off in an instant. As she began to scream in agony, but before she could even screech louder, her face was cut off completely. As her neck cleaned off, 
and fell down. As Naruto glared at them with his slit up full eyes, as Kakashi was shocked. You! Oh! Long time no see, Hatake. Well, now that I've seen your true colors, why don't you drop the act? So you really were a demon, huh? Yeah. You wanted me to be a demon, so I became one. As Kakashi's eyes widened. As his eyes closed and morphed into Mangekyo Sharingan, as a huge fox visage with Susanoo armor appeared. As its wrath brought down on them. And nothing more than dead bodies of the shinobis were sent back to Konoha. As the huge energy surge was also felt by them. As now we see back at Konoha when the bodies arrived, everyone was shocked. Who could have done this? These. These three. They went to get Kushina, right? Said Hiruzen. Yes. So how did they end up like this? We don't know. As far as I remember, the land of waves people don't possess such power. And it turns out, something regarding QB has happened there. Turns out QB is farming there. And we need to get a hold of that. No, you won't, Hiruzen. As a figure levitated in front of them, a huge fox visage with chakra coated over it. As Naruto did, his eyes were slit and Mangekyo Sharingan shocked everyone. What? How do you have those eyes? Oh, I took them like you took everything away from me when you dissolved my heritage and stole everything, said Naruto with a loud roar. You became a demon, Naruto. Of course I would, Gigi, because you were going to use me. And you all people were so obsessed with me being a demon, so I thought, why not I become one? Are you happy now? As the people remained quiet, scared of what kind of monster they have created. I'm not here to kill you, not yet. I am here to deliver you, these trash. Remember this, Hiruzen, I will come for your neck. Every one of yours. Until then, live the rest of your days in fear from everywhere. Who knows, I might even join Eva to destroy you once and for all. As with the threat looming, Naruto disappeared again with the Hirishin. As Donald said, that, that was Hirishin. As everyone was now in more fear, he knew his father's technique. As Shiradan arrived, you lied to him, Sensei. I told you, you cannot manipulate the prophecy. And neither, neither use Minato. My student was innocent. I listened to your words and lost him. Please, please, it's time now. Ask for forgiveness. You think it is that easy, Jiraiya? He had the gal to say those things to me and you just stood here and listened? What kind of student are you? Who can't even protect the dignity of his sensei. As that is when Jiraiya realized that his sensei has turned into a power fanatic and one with a huge ego as well. As he threw the headband in Jiraiya Iruzen's face, take that and shove it deep where the sun doesn't shine, you prick. I'm off. As with these words, Jiraiya left. As now we see that Konoha was now cornered by the other villages. As on the other side, we see back in Land of Waves, Jiraiya arrived. As Naruto stood there, what do you want, Jiraiya? I'm sorry, kid. I promise I, I'm not here for that. As Kushina then arrived, why should we believe you, Jiraiya? My student. He was like a son to me. Minato. He was innocent. I I listened to my sensei's words and I lost him. And after that loss, I all these years suffered. And when I found out that Naruto too was gone, I was broken. I I couldn't get back to the village, but when I found out the courage, I found that you were alive. And I was happy. I even asked him to forgive, ask for forgiveness, but he, he never listened, so I left. I'm sorry, Naruto, he said, bending down to his knees as tears fell down. It was, it, it is all my fault. If I haven't told him the prophecy, he might have remained how he was and not turn out like this. An egotistical bastard who wants nothing more than power and control over the others. No, Jiraiya. Said Naruto with a calm voice, since because of his transformation to Kyuubi's hair, he could also sense emotions, and Jiraiya's emotions were genuine. I I think that it was his own 
personality that emerged after he revealed the prophecy to him. What you did, it was nothing more than show him the truth. So, do you? Of course I do. He's telling the truth, Kachan. As Jiraiya said, I promise you, you won't regret this. But you have to be very Naruto. The Akatsuki, they're still out there and they're after you. I know. And I'll take care of them when they arrive. You don't have to worry about that. And as Naruto promised, within six months Naruto sweeped out the whole Akatsuki. And not only that was able to rile against Konoha, the other nations as well. Promising them whatever they wanted. And that is when we see Naruto with his army emerging of other Jinchurikis all combined behind him with other Kages and nations trampling Konoha as Konoha covered in fear. As Naruto with a final word then said, Remember? You wanted a demon, right? You have one in front of you. As a huge meteoroid fell down upon them, crushing them, as they still somewhat alive, were killed by the rest, and everything was looted by the other nations. An alliance was formed between them, and Naruto was able to get his revenge for his family. As there he stood at the ruins of Konoha. On one side was Jiraiya, and the other Kushina. As the family had a lot of healing to do, but now their revenge and quest was complete. As this is where I'm going to be leaving the story of guys. I hope you like this one. And if you do, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you like the content of this channel, as this is Apollo Uchiha, and I'm signing off for the day. Peace.